Right then, leaving the barrows behind, we've come across not a cow in sight. There might be a better way than this way, but I've never really gone over there to see if there is a gate down through. Um, this does seem to be the way that most of us go, but it looks very overgrown. And it, it might be wet, I'm not sure. Let's get up, anyway, one, two, three, up. Yeah, there's a small track. It is used by locals. This is Sheila on one of her Somerset walks. here in the winter. Well I do. I have done come out in all weathers. So I've actually been in that field as well to avoid cows before now. Right once we get through this first obstacle. What I remember though and it looks like it could happen again down the bottom it's very marshy and very boggy and I've got lost going off I can sit boggy there going I'm gonna to keep to this little track that the locals will use looks quite well defined and well walked despite and I expect you'll get one local come along with the clippers just prune back a bit you know the old stone wall up Never know, you might see the old adder. I don't know if they're here. <coughs> Nearly as tall as me, the ferns. But of course these little tracks disappear if people don't use them. Tick area as well. Sort of place you get covered in ticks. That's time to get home. They're waiting for us, see? Oh! It's clearing a bit now. Dad, deadly nightshade. Don't seem to bother the bees though, do I? Actually, I don't think it is deadly nightshade. That bit. No, I don't think it is. I've got a watch now, by the way. Well, I've had this watch. It was something that Zara gave me a long time ago. And I just got a battery put in it. So I don't have to keep digging up my mobile. I haven't worn a watch for years. It's just the last week I've been doing it. It's only half eleven, folks. And I've just remembered how handy watches are, actually. So I have. And um, it's got a night light on it as well, which is useful. Then you don't have to look round for the torch to see the time. Yeah, it's quite overgrown, but it's dry at the moment. But it's dry at the moment. It, it'll get less fur, ferny in a minute. We get past this bit. There we go. This is where it starts in the past, where it gets marshy and boggy here. There's our stocks and wood over there. Or we'll stock something. It's a bit further down. Obviously, going downhill, water collects. It's not overused this path, is it? And down there is what's called the Mineries. But there's all sorts of old ar artifacts lying about and some deep holes. You've got to be quite careful when you're going down there, when you're wandering about. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. So I've got to negotiate and keep me balanced. Going through all this 
wild area at the moment. Well, it might clear again in a minute. You get little spells of it where it's a bit overgrown. And then it, it opens up again. Look. Someone might have made a new path. I'm sure we used to go down through there. And it's not really what I call boggy at the moment. You wait, there'll be a big, big bog in a minute. Before I go as well, this is potholing country. And down there, there are several entrances to potholes. Swallots, they're sometimes called. Which join up into quite a network of pot people come potholing here. There's a whole two clubhouses dedicated to the, the potholers. People have got lost and died in potholes. And round here. Rescues have had to be put on. All mentioned in other videos, of course, in more detail, that I've done in the past. Right, so we're making our way slowly along a little route. Enjoying every minute of it. Feeling blessed. I think there's another path coming on a different route from up the top. But we managed, we came down here. But I think there is another path there. And in the past, we used to go down through there. But that's totally been obscured by growth. If you turn left here, you can take you to the wood. Stockton Wood. Up that way and weave. It's nice and pretty. Nice and peaceful. What you can do as well. Up that way. It's a nice little walk. And you go around the wood. Sometimes what I've done, I've parked and walked, done the wood and then walked back. This is pretty, isn't it? With all the clover and the grasses. And... Yeah, it's just all very pretty. And I haven't been over here, like I said, I haven't been over here for four and a half, over. It's probably five years since I've done the mineries. I think, anyway, I don't think I came this way. No, you didn't. I don't think so. I know I came over to Pretty on foot. But I was on my way to Wells, so I would have bypassed this. <sighs> Feels like only last week though. Well, as I'm walking along here, to be quite honest, it just feels like last week. In a minute there's a fork. There's lots of little boggy areas as well, little tiny swamp areas, but there's a fork area here. Yeah, we did, I'm, I'm sure we used to walk up that way, sure of it, that was a path that came out around about here somewhere. But we've, we've got a fork here, now you can follow that way and you come out by one of the potholers clubs, but we definitely, I definitely used to go up that way, I know I did. We're not doing that today. We could do that another time. I'm doing this this route today. Past the cottages. A site. And of course, I think now, when I first was doing this, how much younger I was. 10 years ago and I used to cycle out these places as well don't forget I don't feel I could do it now look at that that'd be teeming with life I should imagine I can hear the buzzing of the insects yeah like I say it's pothole in country as well and this was the mine, this is the mineries, all around here is what's called the mineries. And um, there are artifacts everywhere. Like I say, you can walk this path that takes you to the other side of here. 
and you can come out further up the road. Now if I was, if I wanted to now, if I didn't want to do Ebba Gorge today, I didn't feel like I could, I could <coughs> change my plans completely and then just walk back. I could so easily do that. But it's not this early, we can carry on because we've got the afternoon. It's getting warmer. Habitat for everything here. All places that were dug out by the miners during surface mining. All these areas here, which are now sort of boggy, lakey areas. So, yeah. And I've just come down from up the top there. Walking through the lovely grasses. Oh, because I'm I've got hay fever. <laughs> Been stroked by the grass as I walk past. I, I am going to stop a bit, little, not far now. I shall stop for a drink. It doesn't look very well used, does it? Mind you, there's probably all the rain they've had. There would be rapid growth here of the reeds and the grasses. Of course, over here we've got what's, um, those humps and bumps there. They're the old smelting tubes, by the way. There. And there are some quite big holes in the ground. You've got to be very, very careful where you walk. I'm surprised they haven't put warning signs up. You know, you can have a, a hole in the ground with some sort of structures in it. You know, ten foot deep. No warning. Somewhere over there. I remember it. Thinking, God. I thought, imagine someone coming out with children, lively children. And, um... seen a bloke ahead so I'm just keeping alert. <coughs> I've got to. See so if you go over here, let's just go over here briefly for a diversion. This is a place where you've got, if you walked up 
down here, for example. Like down there, that's all to do with the, the kilns and things like that as well down there. I've explored it all before everyone, so I'm not actually doing it much today. Yeah, there's usually a path along there as well that you can follow. It takes you close to the edge of some of the artifacts. But we'll keep to the main track, I think. That's a nice breeze, that is. Over and out for a minute. Turn off for a minute, folks. I'm gonna have a drink. Mm. 